to stop right there real quick. Do you hear that assemble? Today's video, we're gonna talk about Native Instruments, new sound library called Vowels. So just jumping right into this, pretty much valves is like for brass sounds like tuba, French horn, flugel horn, and all these different kind of sounds within that realm. Let's just take a look at this. And up top, this is where you're gonna be able to pick your presets. So you could click that. You could go through how it's being played. You could do a full section, small section, which timing you like, the way it's being performed and the sound. And then you have these presets that go along with all these things. And then you could click out of this. Now this is where the body of this plugin really is which is the phrases for all those producers out there that like you know your presets your one shot so you can really put in your own chords and your own melodies this is really not that but if you stay in tune in this video i will show you ways that you could kind of make it into a one shot kind of plugin so if we just play the chords you get to see how each instrument is playing its own kind of phrase <laughs> So it's doing like a bit of a swelling thing. And if you go into the magnifying glass, you can see that it's swelling for at least one bar. So you have all these different sections that you can mess around with to like make your sound more unique. You could have wave noises, motives. We're going to listen to a few. This looked like another swell as well, but a longer one. Yeah, for four bars. I don't know how to pronounce this instrument. Euphonium. Going on to the trombone. This look like a decrescendo. And so on and so on. So when you put all these together, you really get a full assemble. And you can get very creative too. Like, so while we're here, let's just go over a few things. On the right hand side, you could get more unique with it. You could have an arp going up. You can hear the French horn is like going up in the arp, and then you could go down with the arp. And then you can also go between different sounds. So I could go between the French horn and the euphonium. So you can see like, even though it says they have like a hundred presets or whatever, there's always limitless if you have a limitless mindset. And then you could change the grid as well. So you could um, mess with the um, volume. You can move it off the grid. You could go by quarter notes. You could go by eight notes. So let's just move this back. And then you can mess with the octaves. Let's say we want to solo the French horn. So let's just go to the French horn and just go to solo. So that's just a quicker way. So you can mess with the octaves. Unless you know how to play these instruments, you're not gonna even understand like how high does these instruments go in like the range of it. It's not like a piano where you could just play all up these different type of ranges. Like certain instruments have certain range that you could play in. So if it was just a one shot, you're gonna be coming up with things that are not really realistic. That's another thing to keep in mind. So you could actually put that on. And the whole feature is just that I could just hit it and it's gonna play by itself. And it's just gonna keep doing that until I hit something else. I don't wanna have that on, so I'll just take that off. Let's go to this part real quick, A, B, and C. This part is very unique. Kind of think about it like it's playing like the low end side, then the mid range, and then the high end side. But it's really different sections. So for the course, you can just keep it at A.
But you see what I mean? Like, you could get very crazy with your arrangement just by messing with this. Like, you don't even have to, like, take out instruments or do any of that, which you can. If you want to, like, take out instruments, I would advise just going to the plugin and just copying it on different channels. And then once you have it on different channels, then you could just mute it and do stuff like that now let's actually get into making one from scratch and like i told you guys earlier i'm gonna show you my way of making this like a one-shot plugin so i would just go to phrases and just click on the first one clear it and then pick out micardo med and essentially you could just do this with the other ones too like i can make a staccato i could have a swell so you could get unique in that way too but you know, just copy and paste, and then you can just play it out. I'm going to just go to a scale. And then I could even mess around with the chords. I'm just going to use, like, the chord set in the machine. But my favorite way actually using this plugin, use the MIDI packs, bro. I like this drum kit by Unison. It's called the Blueprint Beat Pack. And, and this is like my go-to drum kit, no lie. Like you can look at all my other videos. I've been always mentioning it. Let's just pull out any MIDI. <laughs> Let's get these levels right because machine could get very loud. Pretty much I just copy and paste the sound so I could just give it like a different texture and also just randomize it. So let's just do that. And what we could even do to spice it up, vocal chops is always there, bro. You gotta do the vocal chops. So we're in C minor and I was already doing this for the other beat. As you can see, I have it on C minor and female voice. So let's just find another one. Play the beat in the background. Yeah. Yeah. You probably thinking like, dude, what? Like, you gonna pick that sound? That sounds crazy. It's all about texture, you feel me? Get some bass, man. All right, let's put that on one because we don't want it to overlap. Hey, 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 let's go.